Hey everyone, this is the second installment of our series about military veterans who are now Knox County teachers. Today I'm at Career Magnet Academy and I'm talking with Maria Crow, who is a Navy veteran. Ms. Crow, thank you for joining us and just tell us about yourself, please. So I'm, uh, I am a Navy veteran. I was in the Navy for 11 years and um, I started my Navy career at the U.S. Naval Academy. Um, I was born overseas behind really? the Iron Curtain. Really? Um, my family and I left uh, the Czech Republic when I was two, right after the Soviet invasion. Um, so that's where my patriotism comes from because we came from a completely different worldview, a different system, and we found so much opportunity and so much personal freedom here. That's amazing, and I do have to digress for a second and, and talk about that. Many folks who uh, don't remember what the world was like during the Cold War uh, and just kind of have forgotten um, the difference between the West and East Europe and the Soviet Union and the Communist bloc. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, you, you know, you said you left when you were two, that's yes. of course pretty young, but what kind of experiences did your family have and, and, and how did you get to the U.S. and what compelled them to leave? We had to leave because my father was um, part of a democratic movement that was happening in the country at the time. And so if he hadn't left, he would have ended up imprisoned or worse. So it was just one of those things where you just get in a car and uh, my family had applied for visas to go out of the country. So we had paperwork, um, but my mom says, you know, at the border, there was people were getting shot just trying to cross the border at that time. So um, we all made it out. My, my parents, my brother and I, um, my uncle came with us. So we came to, um, to Maryland, um, which is right outside of Annapolis, which is how I ended up at the U.S. Naval Academy. My family and I would visit. Um, it was just a, a beautiful place to go and, and visit on the weekends. I went to high school in uh, Montgomery County in Maryland and met a friend who said, you know, I'd really I really am thinking about going to the Naval Academy, and she inspired me to apply. Well, you can think about going to the Naval Academy, but it's a pretty high bar to get in. Uh, you have to be a, a very good student, as well as meet a lot of other criteria. Uh, so that congratulations on, on achieving that. Um, and can you just maybe expound a little bit more uh, about your work in the Navy for folks and, and like me that may not understand as far as what you did there? So the, the career choice that I made helped me stay closer to my family who was going to be on land, wasn't going to be on ships. But because I was involved in the data management and the communications, um, side of things. I was talking to people on board the ships and we were keeping track of where everything was and where our resources were. Where is our equipment? Where are our people? And so it, it's interesting that the majority of my career was spent um, managing that type of a project. What compelled you to get into teaching? I, uh, after I left the Navy, and I left the Navy because with two small children at home, I just felt like I was torn between two important missions. So uh, I came home full time and stumbled into homeschooling. And that's, that's how I came to love the teaching profession. Why is it that veterans lend themselves so well to the teaching profession? We have a desire to serve. Every veteran is so proud of their time in the military and, and their time of service. And so you're, you're always thinking about your community and your country. And I feel that teaching is such an important part of, of our community to help our, our students become positive contributors. Maria, thank you so much. Your story is amazing. And thank you for your service to our country and your continued service to Knox County. And thank you for this opportunity. Mm -hmm.